Karina and you're watching Governor's City Showcase. In today's showcase, we're going to be looking at the mod Load Order Mod 2. I'm hopefully going to try and show you the basics on how to use this mod, um, how to implement it into your current game. Let's get to it. This is the beta version, so there is still some work to be done on this mod before it is finished. So in the olden days, before any of this load order mod, load order tool, we'd go to the workshop, we'd subscribe to all of the lovely assets and mods that we wanted for each of our games. Then when we decided to either, in my case, make a map or do another build, we would have to unsubscribe from absolutely everything to then come back into the workshop and resubscribe to everything that we needed for that particular project. So the way around this was to make collections in Steam. You'd make the collection of for each particular project that you were on, then you would unsubscribe from all and then go into the correct collection for the particular project that you're on and then resubscribe to everything in that collection. The time it takes for you to go into Steam, create these collections in the first place for each particular project that you're doing is really time consuming and this where Load Order Mod and Load Order Tool comes in really useful because with one click after setting up the profiles, you can switch from one project to another project really, really quickly and efficiently without using the Steam Workshop. We're going to go through how you make the profiles today. There are a lot more in-depth things uh, within the tool itself that you can do. You have to let me know in the comments below if you want me to make a more advanced version um, of this video. But at the moment, we're just going to keep it basic. Let's do it. So we're going to do this together. We're going to go into the workshop. We're going to find load order mod 2 and we are going to subscribe to it. Let's have a little look. Okay. So we need the patch loader mod and harmony. I already have harmony. Um, so let's subscribe to patch loader. I don't know what patch loader does, but you need it. It's on a need to know basis, people. Patch loader mod patches things together. <laughs> And um, I now need to subscribe to Load Order Mod 2. Continue, because I've already done that. So it says to please unsubscribe from any, any Load Order Mod 1 versions, which I've done. You can only have one version at a time. So if you were using the first version, then please do get rid of it before you, you embark on this uh, new mod. So let me just explain one thing, right? This is quite confusing if you don't know. Load order mod is the mod within Steam, okay, which you subscribe to within Steam, which you we will open up in game in a moment. From this, you then get a load order tool. So when people are talking about load order mod and load order tool, the tool is within the mod, okay? It's, it's essentially the same thing um but one is within the other so you got the mod then you got the tool okay and we'll find that in a moment we'll have a look at it so all of your included functions are here custom profiles we've already spoke about that they're essentially the same as like different collections of mods and assets for each project you can exclude specific mods and assets from your game so new features of load order 2 is packages mods and assets with filters to only see packages that include multiple assets packages with mods and assets so how something is packaged on steam within the load or tool it will break it down into its individual components and we can see which individual components it contains so with the packages what it means is when you would subscribe to a prop pack and there was just one particular prop you wanted out of that whole pack but unfortunately due to the nature of steam you have to have all of the props and there's no way of singling out that particular one that you want and not subscribing to the rest well load order tool gives you the option to just use the one you want for your game and then not load the ones that you don't want to use which would be handy it also allows you to turn off the vanilla props that you don't want to use. So say you were a really heavily modded build you were doing and you didn't want any vanilla items, you have the ability to turn them off as well before you go into game. There are some advanced filters on in here um, working 
with Finder 2 but we won't be getting into any of the advanced filters today we're just gonna like I said do the basics unfortunately I only have Windows so I can only show you how to install it uh, this way there is a guide to load all the tool and this is situated within the tool itself we'll go over that in a bit so here we are in game content manager mods and then load order mod 2.2 next step of the process is to start the game again re-entering the game we now have the option load order tool here in the main menu for the game so we click on it and here we go we this is our dashboard we can now close down the game click on this bottom box in the corner of the dashboard so we've extracted the load order tool from the load order mod and load order tool is now on my desktop so now i don't even have to go in game to open up this dashboard so if we close this dashboard down now and click on that and it will open it up yeah give me some information about a change log that changed on the 10th of april which is today um improvements fixes although it is a beta it is a well tested mod we go to help and logs there is a guide and so we open the guide and here we are right so this will be kept up to date from within load order tool um if you see any links hanging around in different discords and other places whilst yes you could probably use it it may be out of date so my advice to you would be whenever you want to get to the guide is to get it actually through the load order tool itself here oh, i know from experience because i wasted two hours of my life this afternoon messing about with an old guide we'll get to this stage of the guide and here it shows you what it looks like when you open it up in the content manager in the game these are already highlighted like this you'll see it like this within the game just don't touch it just leave it as it is as you go down the guide you get to this page okay so to override the paradox launcher and have a seamless start of city skylines from load order tool 2 please do the following steps if you have installed city skylines in a different path you must adjust the path below right let's click on there so we copy this from here Control c this shows you what you need to find within steam so it needs to look like that so we'll go to that now home page in your steam so right click on the game in this column here properties and then this box is the same as we just saw Control v and then paste in what we just copied from the previous page something i've noticed when i've come back to the dashboard on the load order tool is that it says here compatibility report compatibility report is not available click here to subscribe the mod so even though it's not a dependency if you want to use that feature of the load order tool then you would need to subscribe so why don't we do that now so now it's giving me information from the compatibility report that there are six mods with no issues at the time of recording this video this is what you can see now is what it says about compatibility report in the guide um, this may have changed since you this has been recorded so i checked the guide for the information about compatibility report so let's go into the packages down the side here on the dashboard and uh, if we go to the show filters we pick report severity so we'll have a look at stuff that's got i don't know major issues yeah we've got quite a few click into it okay and then click compatibility report there and it will give you the compatibility report here so if you have something that either has a major issue or uh, unsubscribe now and you want to know why this is where you go to find it at the moment okay so go back to content and info and if you wanted to unsubscribe from this through the load order tool then you right click and it will unsubscribe 
click that one there from this package and it will do it for you within steam itself so what i'll do is i think i'll quickly go through uh these options down the side here with you as you can see i've just subscribed to a load more mods and stuff uh, to try and make another profile with you we'll do that in a moment so at the moment i've got one profile made i've got 48 mods i've got 395 assets and obviously there you go the compatibility report this is my one and only current profile that i've created this one is a build city profile so i need to select that if you're making a map then you would choose and make asset profile you can have it in the middle loading screen mod is a very useful thing to use in conjunction with this load order tool and then your launch settings how you want load order tool to launch city skylines and that is my save game in there ready to go for when i want to load into cities so let me come out of this so i've explained packages to you already here are all the mods within this particular profile there there are mods in here that i am not subscribed to as of yet we'll make another profile together all the assets that i am subscribed to and also dlcs and ccps so you can turn them on and off which is actually handy if you're map making because um you don't want to have all of the uh, props that are available and little things like that while you're making the map in case you use something that you're not supposed to so it's handy to turn them off as and when you need them so we're gonna now make a profile right let's go into our current profile and then go to add profile at the top we want to choose start a profile from scratch you can keep the current settings of the profile that we're on at the moment and then add or take away um, if you wanted to just change it a small amount but i'm going to show you this one first there's a drop a profile file here to import it so creators such as biffar he will make a profile for you guys and then you download it and then you can drag and drop it into there and in theory you should bring up his um, profile that he's created that you can use in your game if you want me to do another video on that and you know go through how to do that I'm more than happy to explore that with you guys just let me know in the comments section below let's start that profile from scratch so current profile we're going to do a new profile um we'll do a build city profile so i don't want to want to call it but we'll just call it new <laughs> new city we're not very imaginative but there we go build cities okay and let's go to our mods okay so obviously we have to be we have to enable these three otherwise the load order mod doesn't work so leave those ones alone go down and then let's choose some mods to go with our new game okay i'm happy with that selection for now you can always go back and select more should you want to uh, as you move forward with your game let's look at some assets if you go into assets here you're going to come across everything broken down into its individual components which you might want you might need at some point but okay it's a little bit it's a little bit long to start off with so go to packages at the top okay go to filters we'll go tags and then we will choose props so let's start with props so we select prop and then we've got them here all packaged up nicely together okay so i'm going to choose some of these okay i'm really happy with my selection so we're back into the profile and now we've chose all of our mods and our uh, assets our props we can go and start a new game so select the map files to game with mine opens it up on here so you have to learn where your path file is And so here we are we are in the um maps so choose the map you want ah, fisher's enclave's nice so we're going to start with that one and then go back to dashboard current profiles a new city 
14 mods, 37 assets that we've just done. There's 14 mods with no issues. We are ready to launch the game. So you click down the bottom, launch six skylines. So here we are in Fisher's Enclave, ready to play. I know it might went unlockable, but that's because that's what my game anarchy settings are on for when I'm doing uh, when I'm doing map showcases. Um, I hope this helped you figure out how to download a load order mod and load order tool and get started with it. Like I said, if you want a more involved tutorial, then I'm happy to oblige. Please just leave in the comments below. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. I might not be able to. If I don't, I'll hopefully be able to point you in the right direction for the answer that you need. I'll see you all again next time. I'm the governor, thanks for watching.